We all imagine doing amazing things in life. Our daydreaming part of the brain is very active when we think about how great our life will be and then reality hits. We come back down to everyday life and all we see are challenges and things that can go wrong and then we feel stuck. So how do we grow from here all the way till there? That is what I'm going to talk about in today's video. I'm breaking down the neuroscience of growth. Now, as a special surprise, at the end of this video, I'm going to recommend something special to you all. So make sure that you watch the video till then. I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior and welcome to my YouTube channel. We talk about all things related with the brain on this channel. You should subscribe to this because why wouldn't you? You'll see a lot more such videos on your timeline. Now, when people think about growth, they're dreaming of an amazing future and that gives a lot of dopamine. And then when they think about reality and all the challenges, their amygdala gets activated and they feel a sense of threat. In both of these situations, it is the limbic system, which is the primitive part of the brain that is active. Now, the only way that logical, reasonable growth can happen is if your brain's prefrontal cortex kicks into action. So, how does one get from point A, which is your reality today, all the way to point B, which is the dream growth state that you want? How does one grow from here to here? The key is to translate a limbic dream into a prefrontal cortex plan. Limbic dreams are always big decisions. I will start a startup. I will write a book. I will get six pack abs. Sure, they sound really fun, but how do you break that down into achievable actions that the prefrontal cortex can do? Because remember, the brain can dream big, but it grows in a small way. It grows through synapses, neuroplasticity, small little connections that happen over a period of time. So the key step in growth is to find out the smallest unit of work that you can do again and again because you enjoy it. I call this the wheel. The wheel is the smallest unit of progress. When you look at a wheel turning, you might think it is a simple repetitive action that has no point. But as a wheel turns, it is moving forward in the third dimension. And unless you step back, you might not even see it initially. This is how growth happens in the brain by doing the same action repeatedly until a shift happens in a third dimension that one didn't even see coming. So step one to achieving growth is discovering your wheel. If you're a writer, maybe your wheel is writing one page every day. As a doctor, my wheel is seeing one patient. So the act of sitting at a table, seeing a patient and treating them is my wheel. If I keep repeating that, I will have progress as a doctor. As a content creator, my wheel is finding a complex topic and simplifying it and explaining it to you guys. This is my wheel that I really enjoy doing. If I keep doing this, all the growth that I want as a content creator will come automatically. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to look left and right. This is the point of repeating the wheel. Now, as a neuroscientist, I know that this makes sense because in the brain, when you repeat an action again and again, your basal ganglia gets activated. It takes over the action and it becomes a habit. And so that frees up your prefrontal cortex to think of better ideas of doing that same thing. What I found interesting was that in the Bhagavad Gita also, a very similar thing is advised. When Krishna talks to Arjun about success and failure, he says that you don't have to worry about what the outcome of your actions will be. He says all you have to do is to figure out what your core action should be, that is your dharma. If you keep repeating your dharma, outcome is assured, it will happen in its own way. Now, there is something magical that happens in the brain with repetition. Now, the first time you do a task, you are doing it because there's a dopamine spike attached to it. You feel excited because it's novel, it's new. You want to do it because it gives you a kick. Now, as you keep doing it, as the wheel keeps turning, the dopamine levels start falling. You feel like it's boring. There is nothing new here. Why should I keep doing it? Let's go and do something else that will give me a dopamine spike. Now, if you can get over this phase where you're searching for dopamine, after a while, if the wheel is constantly turning, gradually serotonin levels start spiking. You start finding a deeper level of enjoyment in that same task. You start relating to it and only then then will you find lasting pleasure from it? So if you look around and you see people who are very disciplined and successful, they're not actually being disciplined. 
they have simply found the smallest unit of work that they enjoy. In other words, they have found their wheel. So the formula to growth is whatever it is that you want to succeed in, break it down to your smallest unit of work. Break it down till you find the wheel that you are willing to keep rotating, that you find pleasure in. Once you've found your wheel, start spinning it and don't stop. Observe as new skills develop, more opportunities appear and you are going forward simply by repeating the wheel. You turn from a person who is stuck in one place to a person who is growing, a person who is in movement. Now, as promised, this is my recommendation for this video. It's a book called The Design of Everyday Things. It is a book that talks about design in a way that I haven't come across before, especially in today's world with AI and machine learning kind of taking over everything. Just the ability of the brain to think about things from a different perspective, to think about why is something the way it is? Why is it designed that way is eye opening. And I would recommend that everyone check it out. Now, this video is more metaphorical than my usual ones. And this is an idea that I wanted to share with you all. Tell me if this connected with you, if you relate to what I'm trying to say and if this helps. If so, let me know in the comments. They mean a lot to me. And uh, if you found this video useful, also share it with your friends. You never know who might need to hear something like this. Somebody might be feeling stuck and this might help them. I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.